focused. I forgot that you do that. I, oh, really? <laughs> uh, We're back. I'm T. I'm AJ Twist. And this is Unfocused, episode 288. Eight. And that is the evolution of... One second. We just had, had a Vigoroth. What's his name? Vigoroth? Vigoroth. I'll tell you what kind of Pokemon he is in a minute. He's but an ape-looking Pokemon, I'll tell you that much. But I'm AJ Twist. That's T. We're back for Unfocused Podcast, a show where we talk to you about nerd stuff. Yeah, video games, comics, movies, anime, all that shit. Uh, stuff. Both. All right. And, you uh, have a Vigoroth, not even a Slate King? He's the wild monkey Pokemon. Wild monkey Pokemon, okay. Yeah, man. That's some of a slack off. And he was a what? Slackoff? Yeah. I don't know. Oh yeah, he was a. It was something very accurate. It was like the long arm Pokemon or the claw Pokemon or something. Like that. Yeah. I'll go back and find out in a minute. But until then, uh, let's yeah. Go back is, to last episode. Yeah. Let, let's or let's talk about last week. You know, let's talk about after last episode. What happened after last episode? <laughs> AJ, how was your focus week? Uh, you know, chilling here live on Twitch TV slash Closing Twenty Eight or on YouTube dot com slash Unfocus Podcast. Um, you learned how to get in those places. He was the slacker Pokemon, by the way. Ne- the slacker uh, Pokemon. Slack off. Yeah, he was a slacker yeah. Pokemon. Chibi Wags in chat, not sending us a uh, toy review, telling us that he's on uh, the the, the Vigoroth that we have for this week is on his monkey team. Doesn't use slacking because of Truant, which we'll talk more about that next week. Could you say that Will was slacking? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> where's the? <laughs> I, I found the button right away. That was I cool. I try, man. I try. <laughs> Good job, by the way. All right. Um, so, I'm focused week. What you know, happened last week, AJ? What, what's up? What, yeah, you I'll, I'll, yeah, I was going to say, I was watching this. Uh, Carla was watching this video today. She watches random shit sometimes. And she was watching this one dude uh, model, like build a model of something. What was it? Oh, it was, it was a Pokemon Center, but making it into a tissue box, just using random like uh, pieces of wood and painting and a little bit of clay here and there, stuff like that, right? Yeah. But throughout the whole thing, as he was like showing his build process and all that and talking about what he's doing, he was just making Pokemon puns throughout the whole thing. Oh, God. You know, it's like, okay, all we got to do is smear a little paint right here. And yeah. It's like doing shit like that throughout the whole thing. <laughs> yeah, uh, it was funny. Wax is in the middle of a final. I didn't say you were slacking from life. I said you're slacking from nerding, which is more disappointing. Mm-hmm. Um, exactly. Um, last week, I was too on the show. I was talking about how I was 3D printing some shit, right? Yeah. So here's the uh, Sega Genesis Mini, right? You 3D printed a Sega Genesis Mini? Yeah, it, it works in everything. <laughs> no, this no, is this happened? is the legit one from Sega and all that or whatnot. Here's the cartridge I printed out for it. A little Sega Genesis cartridge. It even says Sega on the back and all that. Oh, what the fuck? Just yeah. to make it just to put it in there and make it look official. And yeah, exactly. That's and then. Cool. Because this slot up here on the top of the Sega Genesis is a legit slot, you can actually put this right in there. Like, you're actually uh, doing Damn. some Sega Genesis Sega. cartridge, you know, <laughs> ship, uh, moving around and all that. Um, I just need to get, like, a cool sticker to put on here. That's all I need. I uh, just want to show that off real quick. Um, played some Tekken. So after last week, uh, last week, Reason came through talking all that mad shit, you know? Um, talking about, you know, Tekken and all that. So uh, we actually got down on some Tekken, I, like, Saturday night or some shit uh, with, with Steven. And we played some Tekken. Uh, good times. I realized that when I play Tekken, like, I don't, because I don't play it as consistently as, like, Soul Calibur, like, my first, like, handful of matches are, are, are me just kind of just, just scrambling, just trying to figure out, like, how do I play this shit again? Like, what, what, what can I do with this character? What are my openings? Like, what, what do I, how, do I, how do I juggle again? Um, but then once I, like, you know, remember shit, then it starts, like, flowing a lot better. Uh, I was just using uh, mostly um, uh, Josie. Um, of course, play some Soul Calibur, right? We did that. Um, I know I did something. Oh yeah, watch more WandaVision. Watch more X Men. That's what I did. Oh yeah, you've been watching the animated series. Yeah, right? so it's already season two. Um, motherfucking Morph came back. It's like what the shit? Surprise, motherfucker! Yeah. yeah, he's fucking alive apparently, but is being brainwashed by who's it, Mister Sinister? Some Sinister. Yeah, man. Who I have no clue who he is. Bro, he's fabulous. You're gonna see. <laughs> I saw, saw, saw a little bit Fabulous of... Fabulous and terrifying. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Saw a little bit of, uh, what's his name, Omega Red came through for a bit. Oh, shit. In an episode. Dude, I really want to see him in a movie. I would love to see Omega Red. Wasn't there movie. rumors that he's, he might be in uh, Black, Widow. Black Widow? Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. I don't know. That'd be really cool, though. So we'll see that. And uh, also, who else did I see in the show? Um, uh, oh, yeah, that Storm has a son. Like an adopted, not really an adopted son, but 
Yeah. I'm like just someone that she took care of and just considers her own child. Yeah. Yeah. So I saw the episode with that. I was like, oh shit. For, you, for a with second. The Shadow King, right? You, yeah, you yeah. The Shadow That's King? his name. Fucking Shadow King. Yeah. With that, that fool. He's like the first mutant that Professor X ever met. The first like fool that he ever fought, you know? Yeah. Like they, they we don't see that, but they talk they talk about it, which is. I think there's an episode later where they do show it. Oh, they flash back to that shit? Yeah. Yeah. There's, the... there's, there's a few like random scattered flashback episodes where it's pretty interesting. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of skip around. I, when I was watching it with Carla, too, she was like, wait, we never saw that happen. I'm like, yeah, there's a lot of shit we haven't seen happen that they talk about. <laughs> oh, and for some reason, Carla's over here trying to ship uh, Professor X and, and Magneto. Stop it. <laughs> because, like, they, they uh, ended up going to this island and this, meeting up savage there. Savage land, yeah. And, yeah, and they're just talking to each other, like, and then Carla's like, huh, what's going on here? I'm like, what? They're just talking. She's like, I don't know. They seem kind of, you know, friendly. <laughs> yeah, like too friendly. And like they're pretty passionate, you know, for each other, you know, man, in a way. <laughs> man, Charles doesn't even have time for his children. I don't think he has time for a relationship with Magneto, you know? <laughs> the one true love in X Men says Tech. What up, Tech? Right? <laughs> the consistent love in X Men is always Charles and Magneto. Uh, I was like, that's just awkward now. And every time they talked, I was like, oh, it's normal talking. She's like, see? I'm like, what what are you seeing that I'm not seeing here? <laughs> People see what they want to see, man. Yeah, I know. A... <laughs> um, and then I played it. Oh no, that was last week. No, I didn't do any of that. I guess that's pretty much all I've been up to. I think you know. You, I'll interrupt later on. That's if I all remember you anything. did. That's all you played. You are weak. All right. <laughs> um, I actually did a lot of shit this week, man. I've been addicted to Zelda. I defeated the four beasts that I need to defeat before I get to Ganon. So now I'm just. Kind of building up power and getting ready to kick his ass, you know. You know, I did play some Legend of Zelda a couple weeks ago, Which and one? the NES. Because remember, oh, la- like the Legend of Zelda, the Legend of Zelda, oh, the original shit. OG shit. Because I, I was playing it last. It was literally a whole year ago when I was playing it last. Remember, I was playing through a little bit, and I got to the last dungeon, and I kind of stopped right there and paused. Well, I, I started again from there, and I tried to go through it. And I was just getting my ass whooped here and there, so, <laughs> and I kind of just gave up after a day of playing. Yeah. Well, yeah. Um, Have you gotten to Ganon yet? No, I'm chilling. I'm getting building up all my shit and trying to pick up all the cool items. I've been mostly cooking. <laughs> this is my new obsession after defeating the four beasts in Legend of Zelda. In Legend of Zelda, yeah, because <laughs> you can uh, get you know you can pick up everything in Breath of the Wild, like random plants, you know, uh, animals. Like you pick up anything, and uh, every time you kill like an animal that's dangerous to you, you get raw meat. You know, you can make like steaks and shit. And that's cool. It's pretty cool because like there's some really hard to make recipes. Uh, just like in real life and they say there's some things that people still haven't found like i accidentally put something together that i i had to look for it and real hard to find it i was like am i the first one to find this and eventually i was (laughs) like no someone someone talked about it but um yeah there's just so many things you could do so many things you can make i made this thing called monster cake which i used this really rare monster extract my friends like that's kind of a waste of monster extract like i don't care it's one of the rarest foods in the game and i have it <laughs> that's funny <laughs> and uh yes yeah, so i've been doing that i'm real into zelda it's pretty cool now like oh. uh i know like most legend of zelda games there's like uh shit you can collect like you know there's bugs and shit like in previous games no you cook those in this you cook them in this one but it is is being able to cook shit the new like collecting thing like is there like a, a list of things to cook and all that no that'd be cool if they categorized and checked it off every time you got yeah. Damn, that would have been cool. Like, a, like you see, like a whole spread, a menu, like just like all these different things you can cook, and they're all just like grayed out until you make it. That would have been great. I would have actually really liked that, but no, it's not like that at no, all. Like okay. you, you got the food. It's all kept in a storehouse of all your cooked and created food, and mm. it, you can even organize it and put it in order. But once you eat it, gone. Oh, like, wow. and mm. that's the end of it. And um, I like to keep the rare ones just to have them there. It's like, oh, look, I made that shit. <laughs> a I, trophy. That's just hard to find. And I made it. <laughs> Um, well, don't hold on to her for too long because it's gonna go bad. I wouldn't. Uh, I wish. <laughs> I'm glad that's not a fucking thing. <laughs> it's bad enough my weapons break. Um, but yeah, so Zelda um, has been really good. Really liking that whole game, the whole system to it. Uh, Never played Kingdom Hearts three, so I have no clue if they have cooking or whatever in there. Oh man, you gotta play Breath of the Wild just for that. Even if it's not even to play the game, just to hunt and forage and cook. Uh, the current Pokemon Sword and Shield have uh, cooking in it. Oh yeah. Yeah, when you can, you know how you collect berries and all that shit. Uh, you can also buy like just random other ingredients. Like, like I remember, like one of them I got was like sausage meat or canned meat is another thing too. And um, you can set up a camp so your Pokemon can chill and they can like heal up actually. And then you can cook there. And by you cooking, it makes them closer to you, and also makes them like it gives them experience points, and it will also heal them up too. Hmm. Uh, so there's also cooking in Pokemon. So Nintendo just like let's do cooking in our games, I guess one day, huh? 
Yeah, um, it's it's working. I mean, ever since Cooking Mama, they cracked the door open. You, you can't put that genie back in the bottle. <laughs> That's right, right. right. <laughs> Wags asked me if I bought my house yet. No, I don't even know how to fucking do it. I've been talking to random people. I don't know who to talk to. I kind of don't like to look things up too much in Zelda because I like to feel like I figured shit out. There's only been two shrines, or, you know, that's the new puzzle dungeons. Uh, there's only been two of them out of, like, the 50 that I had to look up because I was like, okay, I, I don't get it. Like, I don't know what I'm supposed to do here. Um, I feel like those were kind of bullshit. <laughs> like, now that I think about it, like, the two ones that I had to look up, I was like, this, I, don't, I don't think I would have figured this out. Like, this is not <laughs> enough information here. Yeah. Um, but anyway. Uh, yeah, Wags, well, feel free. Let me know who I need to, or what village I need to go to to get my house. Um, Damn. What else did I do? Oh, I did so much. Has um, Link ever had a ha- house in previous games? Yeah, I guess when yeah, you start the game, right? Yeah, Link to yeah. the Past. I think That's even right. yours, Legend of the Zelda. The Legend of Zelda. If, if he lives anywhere, it's a cave. Uh, no, I have not found that island. He says that island? That no. island. No, I just found the fucking island that takes all your weapons as soon as you get there and says, survive That's this wack. island without all your <laughs> shit. And I was like, what? Damn. That's the only island I found. That place is Survivor, bullshit. man. I did it. It was Survivor, but like you're, you can't get voted off. Yeah. It's only you. <laughs> That shit sucked. Oh, that was the island? That's the island. But oh. there's nothing there. Anyway, okay, no, we're getting too deep into this. Uh, um, That's I'll what we do here on our focus. Uh, what else have I been watching? Um, that show Orphan Black has been really good. I like that. WandaVision, as AJ mentioned, played a little bit of uh, Soul Calibur. I wanted to play Tekken, but haven't gotten to it too much. Um, I feel like... Oh, I read Daredevil, uh, some more Daredevil. The character Echo is really interesting, man. Um... I really hope. I think that I think she's gonna be in Hawkeye in the Hawkeye show. Oh, I was thinking like the, the dolphin or some shit. No, Echo is a Marvel superhero. She's a she's deaf. No. Oh. And that's of, ironic. Of course, yeah. And they're you know fighting each other and dating. So yeah, it's you know. Oh wow. See no evil, hear no evil. <laughs> and um, but no, they fight each other. Um, and she's like fucking super precise because everything obviously opposite of Daredevil, her eyesight is super precise and. Mm. Blah blah. She doesn't even need to hear. She can feel the vibrations, Damn, so she top. can often often feel what you're saying in the air and shit like that. It's pretty crazy. Like, that's cool. Yeah, uh, yeah. So it, it, that's pretty cool too. I'm gonna start cracking. Or I'll talk about that afterwards, I guess. Um, there's definitely more things, uh, but I guess I'll talk about them later. Uh, oh, Gravity Falls. I've been watching that show, Gravity Falls, and it's super good. I, after the first, almost the first season, the last two or three episodes of it get really fucking weird. And then after that, season two and three are, like, really weird. It's almost like a sci-fi, like, anime type of thing. Like, it's pretty cool. Like, I'm liking it a lot. Um, that's on Disney+. Plus. It's pretty dark for a Disney thing, so I highly recommend people check it out. Uh, but otherwise, I guess I'll leave it at that until I remember other things. Uh, but, yeah, we're on Focus. Don't forget, I'm focuspodcast at gmail.com if you want to email us. We're on Twitter and Focus28, Instagram and Focus Podcasts. Or just go to clinch28.com and you can find all the links there. And Apple Podcasts, too. Apple Podcasts. Like, like, comment, Spotify. We're on Spotify. Mm-hmm. And we're on Spotify, too. And Stitcher. All right. Google something, Google Podcasts, whatever that is. You can find us there, too. Um, Discord. Uh, clinch28.com slash Discord. Go join that. That's what we were using the other night. Uh, when was, we were playing with Reason um, on Tekken or just on that Discord channel. Oh, oh, oh. I watched Sonic the Hedgehog. Oh, yeah. So what'd you think? It's fucking good. It was uh, good, right? You know, I had some moments. There's like, you know, obviously it's a kid's movie, so I, it's, some parts are not for me, I can tell. Mm-hmm. But most of it was really fucking good. I liked almost the whole movie. Yeah. Uh, Jim Carrey was a little annoying at first, but he grew on me after a while. I was like, okay, I, I don't know where I this movie. He never here. really grew on me. <laughs> yeah, I, I, liked him, I liked him at the end, by the end of it and everything. But uh, the first half, I didn't feel like he was playing Robotnik at all. I felt like he was just playing Jim Carrey, you know? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, AJ disagrees. But I felt like as it went on, I started to feel a little bit more Robotnikness. Like, he started saying things that Robotnik would say, like... Yeah, he would, but, like... Th- and then he'll do some Jim Carrey shit, you know? So it's like, he'll just nullify what the Robotnik that he just <laughs> did, you know? And it's like, oh, cool, Robotnik. And then he'll do some stupid shit. It's like... All right, it's Jim Carrey again. <laughs> well, I do think the ending's really promising, though. I, I, yeah. And th- he looks like he's kind of going crazy and being a little more cartoonish, you know? Which, yeah. Uh, so, seeing at that part at the end, but, like, again, I don't want him to go Jim Carrey crazy, you know? Yeah. Because Robotnik... He, Somebody stop me, right? <laughs> yeah, I don't want to see all that, like, because cause Robotnik, he's, he's, like, he's definitely super smart, but he, and he's, like, evil and all that, 
but he, he'll go kind of crazy, but more in a like, I gotta finish this like thing. Like he becomes more obsessed if anything else. That, that's kind of when he goes crazy, it's more of an obsession type of crazy, like an OCD type of thing. Like I need to complete this, you know, mm -hmm. uh, get out of my way, you know, type <laughs> of thing. Like that's how that's how that's how I imagine Robotnik to be. Like, uh, but Jim Carrey was kind of like that. But, he was. I was gonna say he but, was kind of like that. But it, like, it just, it was more like funny, stupid type of like like that, you know? Like, yeah, him. Some of the jokes were not like were not very Robotnik like. Well, some of them were very pop like that culture. whole coffee thing. He's like, I love latte. Thank you very much. Like he said, all means to like. No. It, was, it was something <laughs> stupid like that. Hey, well, uh, even though that was dumb and that wasn't very much like Robotnik, no. that shit made me fucking laugh though. He was. <laughs> he said. He said. Um. He said. He said, he's like, of course I would, you idiot. I love the way you make them. Yeah. Get out of here. Yeah. Well, I was like, yeah. what the fuck? <laughs> yeah, I was like. Like shit like that. I did like his servant, how he would make faces sometimes when Robotnik would say shit. And he's like, the fuck? Because I was like, that's how I felt some of the things he was saying. I was like, what the fuck? Like, yeah, he's too animated, too, I think. That's the other thing that bugs me, too. It's like Robotnik's not that animated. You, you mean know? physically animated. Huh? Yeah, like Too yeah. many swinging his arms and yelling. Yeah. yeah. I see what you're saying. Yeah, and that's the other thing that I didn't like about it, too. But, I mean, I don't know if you remember the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. That's kind of how he was to me. Like... You know, you only, I guess you watched, you only watched Sonic the Hedgehog, the Freedom Fighters. I, uh, I, no, I watched the, the Avengers because those were easier to get across and, and mm -hmm. I was able to find those more often and watch that more often than uh, Freedom Fighters. Right, right. And I felt like he was more like that one from, you know? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, but I guess either way that's not, <laughs> I do like how they slipped in the Eggman comment at some point. I was like, oh, mm. that was do I was like, okay, just like bringing it full circle real quick. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, so uh, supposedly they're they're currently uh, about to start filming the second one yeah. uh, this year. So next year we should be getting it. I yeah. think I think they have a date for it too, which I think is in February. Yeah, I, th again. I think there is a date on it. Yeah, yeah. Sonic and Knuckles. Um, it all depends on what your bash came off of. Basing him off of. Oh, basing him off of. Yeah, I mean, there's only really one is AJ's point, <laughs> but uh, you know, I guess they kind of like. More like like I, I, I liked Adventure, which is the more cartoony one for sure. Like it was, it was fun, fun and everything. Yeah, it wasn't it, great. It, it was a good time, yeah. But like I definitely love more of the seriousness of like the Freedom Fighters one. I, I follow the comics a lot too, and then uh, of course the video games were well. As far as for video games for me and Sonic, it's more of the Sega Genesis where there wasn't any talking at all. Mm. Um, so the only time you saw Robotnik was when he's you know at the end of a zone and you're fighting him. <laughs> but anyways. All right, so that being said, uh, let's jump into the main part of the podcast, oh. the news. Okay! This is the news. Let's do it! The, 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 the news. Yeah! The news. What yeah. animation dope on it? It's like in the world. It's fucking... I really, that was a really good intro. Nah, that's fucking lie. dope, man. I'm badass sometimes. <laughs> All right, um, you want to kick us off? All right, you know, I'll kick us off. All right. Um, so... Burger King... Oh, shit. ...is now offering their own version of Happy Meals... They've always had kids' meals, though. Yeah, but, well, I mean, they're offering them not with Nintendo. They haven't. Oh, shit. They got fucking Nintendo toys what? right now. There's six different toys and all. I'm not going to go over all of them, but there's oh, things shit. represented from Legend of Zelda, the new Link's Awakening. Oh, so just Nintendo. It's not Super Mario. It's just Nintendo. Nintendo, yeah. Dude. Zelda Link's Awakening. Okay. Uh, there's some Animal Crossing stuff. Oh, there's cool. some Mario stuff and some Splatoon stuff. Yes! To, to name a few. <laughs> uh, there's six toys and all. Collect them at your local Burger King. Fuck, I got um, get a picture on this. Uh, I didn't bring a picture of that oh, I'm one. I'm about to fucking uh, shut up. Be a nice surprise, but you know, I need to come bring them up now for you. Um, yeah, there's there's other games they have represented there as well. But I was like, oh, that's just cool. I I like that. That's a thing. When I was a kid, I would have died for some shit like this. Like, and they never yeah, had it. Yeah, man, like, just trying to get those fucking Mario ones back in the day. Yeah, those whack ass ones that I, I loved anyway. <laughs> you know, like uh, they look all right. Yeah, they're just little they're little toys, you know, but they're trinkets. But I, I like them. The, the style of them is really cool. Like. I like the Splatoon has two color sides, you know, like, and then, uh, because they have the green side and the pink side. Like, what's this? What the fuck is this, uh, Animal Crossing one? What the, what the hell is that? Is that a pen? These other ones look, look cool, though. I'm assuming Mario Kart right there is going to be rolling yeah. around, right? It looks like Link's going to be rolling around, too. This looks like it's from the, uh, yeah, Link's Awakening, the new Link's, Link's Awakening. Awakening, yeah. Uh, and Mario, um, Luigi's Mansion. Yeah. There. It looks pretty cool to me. I want more fucking visuals. I that's know that's all. There's only it. six. All right, fine. <laughs> Or is better, slightly better. Yes, yeah, so they got a few. Things oh, okay, in. it's a little game. Okay, oh this. Oh, you know, classic shit. Yeah, now I know what this is. It's a little maze with a ball in it. It looks like for yeah. Animal Crossing. It's a, in a leaf shape. This is exactly what I want to make with the 3D printer. Oh, I bet something you like make this. That, huh? Yeah, I already has something already like sketched out and everything, like modeled and and the 
in the program. All I got to do is print it. I know it's going to take hours, like probably even days to do it, which is why I haven't started it yet. The Splatoon one, it looks like that might shoot out. It looks like there's a little I think switch it, I think side. it does shoot. It looks like, like it's going to launch. Yeah. yeah. That's cool. I love launching toys. <laughs> That's always the best. <laughs> the best one was fucking the Sonic the Hedgehog at McDonald's, the Tails one. It, it, you fucking rest Tails on top of this thing, and you pull the string, and it fucking starts flying. Oh, shit. That was fucking dope. I wish I fucking had mine still. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, I, I'm 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 down to go to Burger King if I can get some chicken tenders. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. Uh, when does it end? Uh, scroll down. Yeah. Is there a date on this? Uh, 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 I don't know. It usually goes for like a month or so, but I don't yeah, know. Yeah, usually. Uh, but okay. Sorry about that. But yeah, it is available right now. I know that. So. But yeah. Um. All right, AJ got some I'm other fucking, news. I'm going to Burger King tomorrow. That's my news right now. Uh, um, so back to Sonic real quick. Um, Netflix finally announced and kind of came through with it, saying that uh, yes, there, there's a Sonic animated series coming to Netflix. It's going to be a 3D animated series uh, called um, Sonic Prime. Oh, that's what it's going to be called. Mm-hmm. That's what it's going to be called. You would think Amazon would be airing that, right? Right, exactly. And then also people bad, are making bad move. Netflix. <laughs> people are also making jokes like, "Oh yeah, so uh, you know, Metro Prime, Sonic Prime. You know, are we going to get like Sonic Corruption and all that?" And yeah. <laughs> uh, they're doing all that. I did uh, see an article too where they said it's not going to interfere with the movies. Yeah, it's going to be its own universe in a way, they're saying. It uh, looks like there's going to be 24 episodes animated. Uh, it's going to be like uh, mostly kids, family-friendly and all that. But uh, it's also going to definitely draw for, you know, some of the Sonic fans in, they're saying. Um, what else were they saying here? Uh, the series will be animated by or at Will Bryan's Vancouver studio. And Sega and Wild Brain will jointly participate across production um man of action entertainment creators of ben 10 um and the characters and team of the academy award-winning feature ben i'm sorry big hero six so the people that behind that uh they're going to be uh the showrunners and, the, and then producers behind the series too that sounds cool ben 10 and big hero six oh are, yeah okay I, I, I saw big hero six uh, i saw I, you watching it one day uh, is it pretty good yeah but big hero six yeah I, i've seen it a couple times that's, that's just awesome. you should Wait, see it the movie it's or the crazy. show there's two right oh there's a show for big hero yeah six? it's on disney plus oh shit no i haven't seen that I oh, think yeah. the movie's good. Okay. I haven't seen the show. Yeah, there's a oh, show. Yeah, I think I saw that before. Yeah, I haven't watched that. I don't know if it's any good. I don't know either. But I know Ben 10 uh, has a has a good following too, so I never heard anything bad about Ben 10. Uh, also, oh. looks like there's a, there's a writer, <laughs> Justin uh, uh, Penniston. Uh, looks like he's done some Avengers Assembled episodes in the past. Uh, also, he's done uh, uh, he has his own web comic called Hunter Black. Um, I think he did something with Mega wow. Man. Yeah, Mega Man fully charged. Wait, Justin Pennison? Mm-hmm. That's my friend. Remember, I told I was the one who talked about Hunter Black. I have his his book. Oh, really? He's the one who wrote Hunter oh, Black. Oh, he's gonna be writing some episodes. Dude. Yeah, oh, that's fucking cool. Oh shit! He was involved in Mega Man. Let uh, him know of all my concerns. Right, I will. I will. <laughs> he was uh, doing Mega Man. Um, yeah, me- the, that Mega Man fully Super charged. Fully charged. Yeah. yeah, he he did that one too. Yeah. Um, speaking of which, okay. That's cool. That's pretty dope. Yeah, he's damn Justin. You getting work, man? Good job. For real. Congrats. And, uh, also, um, on, on like on Twitter somewhere, one of the writers uh, kind of confirmed that uh, they're kind of uh, what do they say? Um, Sonic Prime will be set in the video game universe called the uh, created by the Sonic team. So we're not gonna get Archie. It seems looks like we're gonna get whatever the Sonic team's created. That's the universe we're going into. However, though, he also mentioned that he's not adverse to seeing a few Sega crossovers happen. So I don't think that means other Sonic series, but just crossover Sega. with other Sega properties. <laughs> so maybe some uh, crazy taxi. You know, Whoever that or... guy is, I just sing right now. What is his name? I don't Sega. know. Sega. Remember that one guy, the, the comic one? <laughs> you don't remember that thing? No. It was on your computer. It was with the Dolphin game, that one. Anyway, it doesn't matter. It was like a comic. It was like called Comic Something. It was a blonde guy. He would like go through it and like fight. Uh, it doesn't matter. Comic um, kid something. It don't matter. Either way, Bust a Groove. Bust a Groove. That's a Sega thing? Yeah. Bust, oh, yeah. Huh. Bust a Groove. Jet Grind Radio. I would That's love Sega. that. Vector Man. Is that Sega? I don't even know who Vector is Man that, is. Is that first party Sega? Oh, wait, wait, wait. We have a we have a box right here, dude. Hold up. Oh, you have a prop. We have an actual Sega Genesis Mini right here that has some games behind it. Tell Most us, of dude. them being first party of them soon. Alex Kidd, Kid Chameleon. Uh, Ray Star. I remember you know? Kid Chameleon. Uh, Vector Man. Uh, oh, fucking Virtual Fighter, dude. <laughs> oh shit, Virtual Fighter. The uh, one thing I don't need to get a show. Comic Zone. Is that what you're thinking of? Comic Zone. Yeah, that's the one. That's the one. Comic Zone. 
Oh, I played this game, Columns. This is another game I, I played on the Sega uh, it's like Genesis a puzzle Mini. Game, right? Yeah, it's a puzzle game. That game was kind of weird, but y- you know how in most puzzle games, when you connect like uh, multicolored like things or, or objects, whatever, like three of a kind, and if you do it vertically or horizontally, then it'll disappear. Mm-hmm. Well, this game was like that, but you could also do um, diagonally, which is fucking crazy. That nice. was like a new twist on it. But the one weird thing was you always get pieces that were just top and bottom. You never got pieces that were left and right, and you couldn't flip them to go left and right. It was always just, you know, three pieces, you know, just straight down vertically. Um, and then when you switch the pieces, it would just move from top to bottom. It was, it was weird to kind of set up pieces like that. It kind of threw me off. But the fact that you could do shit diagonally, though, kind of helped that out. Anyways, that was a cool puzzle game. Um, anyways... Hey fuckers, language. My kids are watching you, bitch. Oh my you knew, god. You knew what we what Why we, would you right? say it like that? I and like, I can't be saying that. You know what we are, bro. We've been doing this for a long time. <laughs> You've been watching for hey, even longer. These kids are older now too, so they probably understand more. Yeah. But watch I mean, Sonic, kids. Yeah, go watch Sonic. Show them Sonic instead of us. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, so Roger Craig Smith, ironically connected, is the voice for most Sonic games and has been for the last 10 years. And it looks like from a post he made that he's no longer going to be Sonic anymore. Really? He's, yeah, he put on a tweet um, just a few days ago. Well, 10 years was an amazing run. Onward to new zones. He said, uh, much love to the fans who've been so kind. And he showed a big blue heart with a crack in the middle of it. Damn. And yeah, Roger Craig Smith is the... I'm not. He's not the solid voice of Sonic because he does other, you know. Yeah, he's mostly the game voices, right? Yeah, he's mostly the game voices. Yeah. There's a few games that vary, but for the most part, it's him. Yeah. And um, yeah, he's he's leaving uh, for whatever uh, reason. I also heard the same thing happen with uh, the voice actress for Amy Rose. She's also moving on too. Oh, uh, they're probably so, getting a new team on purpose. So they she's wanna, like retiring. I think they want to do something different. Sound like the restructuring Sonic team in there. That's what I mean. They're, they're yeah. rebranding everything. Like, yeah, I, they might want to go with the Freedom Fighters now and like just get rid of the whole Amy. You know, I don't. Cat I, don't thing. Think, I don't think that will ever happen because those characters were created by Archie. Oh no! And not by Sega. That won't happen. Then no, yeah. you're, you're right. They want to so pay. That, they don't want to pay them. Maybe you'll see a cameo here and there, but you'll never see them as the main Maybe, characters. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that makes sense. Yep. Um. Okay, so yeah, that guy's leaving Sonic. Another note that's also connected. Uh, I mentioned a week or a couple weeks ago that a friend of mine wrote Batman: Soul of the Dragon, which everyone should go check out. It's a really good uh, animated movie, and um, uh, he's actually writing another one. That one. Came, um, so if you take a look on YouTube, or you can watch us right here live, there's a Justice League of America, the JSA, and uh, they were recently pictured on that show I watched, Star Girl, which is really good. And now they're over here on, uh, you know, on this, and then they, they got an animated thing. Uh, you know, Steve said we can block that, actually. Yeah, but uh, right. I, don't, I don't really want it. Yeah, so... Um, you skip ahead a little. So we'll see what happens, but... Oh man, this is the wrong thing. The title, you, can you look at the, the trailer for JSA? Trailer and all that good stuff on... Yeah, but anyway, yeah, he's writing it. And it's going to be about the old school Justice League of America. I think I sent you the wrong thing. I was looking up a breakdown. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And so it's going to focus on the main team of Wonder Woman, Hawkman, The Flash, the, the Jay Garrick version, as well as um, Our Man and Black Canary. And yeah, they're done very old school style, kind of like that one movie called Justice League New Frontier. Uh, there it is. That's the one. And it seems like it has a connection to the ones that they said was going to be over soon, which was uh, Justice League, the New 52 cartoons, uh, like which ended with the uh, Justice League Dark War. Uh, it looks like they're kind of continuing that because their Flash runs into this universe. Yeah. Like, what the hell's going on? Hmm. Um, Animation looks kind of kind of cool, but kind of weird. Yeah, I like it. I was like, it looks kind of old school style. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But uh, kind of like really clean though. Yeah, like yeah. dark lines, like an old cartoon would be, right? Yeah. Like, yeah, um, yeah. So it's a real simple team, very small team. Like I said, my friend that wrote Batman: Soul of the Dragon wrote this one too. And if you, if anyone's seen the old, um, that last Justice League Dark two, Flash ran away at the end and kind of reset the universe, and looks like he went here. Hmm. And so he's meeting this old ass team from maybe a parallel universe because it's a different Wonder Woman too. Uh, but yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, I really like the JSA, especially since I've been watching Star Girl, and now that whole thing's been happening. Uh, but yeah, we'll see. Um, that's crazy. Uh, 
Yeah, uh, so. uh, the thing about this animation that looks cool though is that the the items that are moving around that you should focus on are like sharp, but background is like kind of like blurred a little. Yeah, bit. yeah, it's kind of like misty almost. Yeah, yeah. that's kind of cool. I like that. Yeah, I don't think I've seen this type of like animation before. Yeah, it's like definitely a new style of thing. Yeah, I like that look of them right there. Yeah, I see what you mean. It's real clear right there. Yeah. Yeah. Like the focus is clear, but like the background is actually blurred. That's crazy. Oh, wow. Um, <laughs> so, um, aside from the news, I guess we have breaking news from our fans down here. Thank you, Cuckoos, for tuning in and telling us that. Oh, that show was loud. Yeah, Cuckoos and Texcade are actually uh, talking about WandaVision, which we did not talk about in Iron Focus Week, except for that we watched it. Uh, <clears throat> Marvel Mini Mates apparently has done something to spoil WandaVision's real villain. Apparently, my theory was confirmed, which I'm like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to see what that is. I'm pretty sure it's that that soldier, the guy the head of sword is the mm -hmm. villain. Uh, I don't know who he is really, but... Um, spoilers, by the way, guys. Yeah, spoilers for if WandaVision. If you haven't watched WandaVision. Uh, but yeah, it looks like he's going to be somebody... Um, Pretty significant. I think I guess Unless he was... Unless another theory you had. I don't know if it's that one. Uh, I had a lot of theories. Actually, I have a new theory I can't wait to share with everyone, but we'll talk about that in a minute. Um, uh, yeah, it doesn't really... I, yeah, you guys might have to inform me. I can't find anything off the bat about it. Um, well, well, yeah, we'll come back to that. But speaking of WandaVision, again, like, uh, like we mentioned, there will be spoilers for this point that we're going to talk about here. Um, I have a new... Ooh. I have a, a new theory. Oh, Mephisto! I guess it is that guy. Oh, shit. Look, it's a male. Oh, shit. Because yeah, a lot of people are like, maybe Mephisto will be a woman. But no, it's a male Mephisto. So, yeah, I guess I was right. That's crazy. It's got to be that fucker. Um, very interesting. Thank you, Cuckoos, for hooking it up and for pointing that out that that was the case. Uh, yeah, so Mephisto's involved. Oh, shit. They're fucking with the devil now. Ghost Rider's coming. Yeah. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff. Uh, so my theory, uh, WandaVision, is that I've been noticing, I think I already told you, AJ. Um, so Maria Rambeau created the sword department before this guy took over. Right. And then Monica pointed out that they changed it from um, sentient weapons uh, observation and response department from, and they changed the observation and response part from creation is what she says. Mm -hmm. So that means they were making sentient weapon creation department. And that actually makes a lot of sense because Maria Rambeau watched a core blow up in Carol Danvers' face and give her superpowers. And they had the Tesseract uh, with Project Pegasus. Yeah, they had it for a while. This would make a lot of sense that maybe that's what she made Sword for is to make more superpowered people. Mm -hmm. Obviously, that didn't work or they wouldn't have shut it down and changed the program. Mm -hmm. But maybe those people that got tested on one day, will their kids will have powers like imbued into them. So maybe they all got like corrupted in some way, but nothing came out. But later on, it'll just come out, right? The X-Gene yeah. will wake up because that's kind of how mm -hmm. it is in X-Men. Like, you know, some, usually the parents don't have it, but some kids will have it. And then even some kids will have regular human kids, but they'll have some mutant kids, you know? Like, like Mazakus. Yeah, yeah, it's the atavism of the Mazaku. <laughs> yeah, that's right. You're right, AJ. It's exactly like that. The Yu Hakusho reference, kids. Yeah. And uh, on top of that, that would also make sense be uh, for why Baron Von Strucker knew how to give Wanda and Pietro powers. Because there's no reason he would know to use the stone on them to give them powers mm -hmm. unless they're agents that they had hidden inside of shield and pegasus and sword can, can we talk can we talk wandavision now too can we talk more Isn't that about what we're that talking right about Isn't that yeah what we're yeah talking but about? i asked some other like things i've heard about that i want to discuss too real quick okay but anyways we're talking about wandavision right now guys Wait. Just saying. all right <laughs> it's like we are you got but, my point though right but yeah yeah so they they use what was it, the mind stone right yeah to kind of unlock the powers in there so think do we need infinity gems to do that i don't think we do uh, because at this point, Wanda seems to have embodied Yo, the power of her okay. Infinity Gem. So I don't think we need that anymore. So you're saying so. So maybe they might have used uh, the Space Gem, the Tesseract, to kind of do experiments. Nothing happens. And but then later on, Strucker used a Mind Gem, unlocked uh, Petro's and Wanda's shit, and but, now they're powerful, right? Yeah, and they now only they knew powers. to do that because they had spies inside a shield that told them, hey, they were yeah, trying to and, use and, this stone on And that's on Hydra, right? Because Hydra's yeah. infiltrated shield and all that, so they know all that shit, right? Uh -huh. Now they snapped, right? Snap it was, you know, caused a bunch of radiation from those gems. One of them being the Mind Stone. So, yeah, that radiation could have touched other people. 
Mutants. Hey, the snap went across the world three times. True. Once with Thanos, mm-hmm. once with Bruce Banner, and once with Tony Stark. Yeah. Damn. I think that's more than enough to upstart a gene that could be reactive to a superpower. Yeah, all that gamma radiation. And like Rocket... That was all gamma, right? Yep. And like Rocket Raccoon said, Earth became ground zero for a, a, a surplus of cosmic energy that the universe has never seen before. Yeah, Tech says she's given off cosmic energy so she can give people powers too. Possibly, uh, maybe not confirmed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know about that. Maybe I don't think it's out of her possibilities, but I don't think that's happening right now. Yeah, uh, and what was crazy too is that what they were saying that the uh, the radiation they're reading—I forgot what they called it—but it was the same type of radiation that was at the Big Bang, you know, which. That's interesting. Yeah. Also, why did the head of S.W.O.R.D. know about that, but all his scientists didn't know about that? Unless he was there for the Big Bang. Oh. Which would oh, be and, like and, Mephisto. And, yeah, was it the same guy, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's he, true. Because he'd be the only one that would get that. Um, I do think you have a point with that text, uh, with House of M storyline, uh, Tech Skater. But I think that that's going to come from what Wanda and Vision talked about last episode. And that was Vision saying, Wanda, we can leave. We can go anywhere. And she said, no, we can't. We're stuck in this town, right? But I think she might start expanding that bubble outward to envelop eventually the whole world. Mm-hmm. And yeah, that's House of M right there, you know, like <laughs> changing right. reality for everybody. That'd be cool. Now to the little theories I've heard too. Yeah. So one of them uh, that someone pointed out that I, I, I saw was that, um, you know how like something weird has happened in the episodes of with Wanda? Um, one is the, the boss dude that came for dinner. He started choking, right? Yeah. Before he started choking, though, he was asking questions, right? He was asking a little bit too, too much many questions, questions right? Yeah. Yeah. And then the other uh, injury that happened in the, in the episodes, the second episode, was that one girl by the radio. I forget what she was asking, but she was like, like asking too many questions and all that, and Wanda was getting concerned. Dottie, Dottie, right? Dottie, yeah. And then the glass broke in her hand, and she became injured, right? Mm-hmm. And the blood was colored. Yeah. <laughs> and then there was blood and all that, right? The third person to fuck with Wanda was Monica Rambeau. And she, she started asking too many to. questions, and she got tossed out, right? So yeah. see, it seems like anyone that kind of messes with Wanda in a way or kind of asks too many questions or feels like a threat to Wanda ends up getting hurt in some way. Or you mean almost killed in or some way. Or almost even that's, killed, that's yeah. Like but multiple. at the very least injured, you know, in some way. Because okay. the guy choking, the the chick broke the glass in her hands, started bleeding. Whatever reason. And then Monica got, that got, that got tossed out. Yeah. Um... And I think Vision might be next, possibly, yeah. because he's starting to like see shit Yo, and worry about it. And I saw a trailer. Um, they were still in the sitcom mode, but him and Wanda were staring at each other angrily, and they were both flying in the sky. Yeah. And I was like, oh, shit. Are they about to get down? Like, yeah. is this about to be a problem? You know what I mean? Like, yeah, exactly. So there's that, too. Yeah. Also, what I noticed, too, is that it looks like we're going to get like a current day, like, um, uh, what are those type of reality shows called where you're like being interviewed? Oh, or like, like reality, a, yeah, reality shows. Like a, like yeah, reality shows. I guess is what you call them. Yeah, um, yeah, because one there is a, a something in the trailer that showed Wanda being interviewed, right? Yeah, like she was talking to the camera about like what's going on. I was like, oh, they're gonna fucking do like like the like real today. World. It's like yeah, exactly. <laughs> well, with the uh, there's a certain name for the type of shot. It's something I forgot what it's called. Okay, uh, but yeah, I know what you're talking but about. But yeah, yeah, but it looks like they're gonna be doing that pretty soon too. Oh, other thing too, someone pointed out that that was weird. I don't think it's really confirmed at all. Uh, I don't, I don't think it's true, but just a funny thought. Looks like Wanda might have the powers of all the Infinity Stones because she's fucking with everyone's mind, right? Everyone's yeah. mind's erased. Yeah. Um, she somehow brought back uh Vision to life, so Soul Gem right there, right? Um, she's uh, uh, reality stone powers because she's fucking with everyone's reality all the way around. People that come through and all that reality is being fucked with. Uh, she's reversed time before when the, she saw the beekeeper come out. She rewinded time and they just never went out there instead, right? That's true. That's true. Yeah. Well, um, and we haven't seen power yet, or, or I think I guess we haven't seen space yet. I suppose. Um, I, but yeah, I, guess I just not. thought that, that was an interesting connection there. Well, that well, is... I guess power could be her tossing out Monica. Yeah, that's true. Maybe. Um, well, I mean, I could see the point there, but I really think that that's her chaos magic yeah. kicking in. I, I think, think, I think, I think it's, it's more of that, yeah. I think her, her power is just getting so strong that she's able to do things that she didn't think she could do before. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, you know, I guess we'll see, because I, I wouldn't doubt that. I won't rule that out, because Thanos did destroy the stones. True. And I do remember in an interview, Kevin Feige said, just because the stones are gone doesn't mean their energy is gone. Yeah. So, I mean, maybe you're right. Maybe her, Maybe in the MCU... Chaos magic is harnessing the stones magic. Maybe. You know, like maybe. That is chaos, you know. Uh, you know, like, 
Well, you know, like how in Slayer is like you use magic by drawing something from a stronger being or something. Yeah. So maybe she, her magic and what chaos magic is in the MCU is to draw magic from the stones and use the stones magic, you know? Maybe. That's just an idea. That, that, I don't know. That's an idea. That would be an interesting idea, too, because maybe she couldn't access that before because the gems existed. Exactly. But now that they're actually gone. Point. Yep. Yeah. Because yeah, he broke them. Yeah. So now the energy's free. Mm. Hmm. Just, just thoughts. You know, just thoughts. But no, we've been, we've been true. actually right. We've been right a lot, actually. So <laughs> we had some wrong things about Endgame, but I think we've been right a lot about a lot of MCU stuff. So, you know, tell your friends about us, guys. <laughs> I definitely called a lot of this Wandavision stuff. Is the stone? Uh, are are they order? Magic is chaos. What? Uh, I don't know. I don't. I don't know. That's not what I really meant. I uh, cause there's a there's a type of magic called chaos magic. That's what I'm talking about in Marvel. And that magic is the power to create and destroy as you please. And humans never get that magic. Like they can't get that magic at all. Like period. Even if you knew the spell for it, you couldn't access that magic. But Wanda, because of the combination of her mutant power and her magic, she's able to get into chaos magic somehow. You know. Mm. So if hopefully that answers any questions there. But um. Anyways. Yeah, so that's some theories and some things we wanted to talk about about WandaVision. Anything else you want to bring up? Uh, I want to bring up, because it's kind of one of my stories, but I'll just bring it up now so it could, it could, because it connects. Um, so uh, when Monica came back to S.W.O.R.D. and was talking with the, the, the director or acting director or whatever, uh, they were talking about how people don't want to go to space anymore and all that, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah and we, and we had a theory there, right? And then Steve was, uh, gave us that text this morning. So uh, apparently uh, on Instagram, Flash Thompson from Spider-Man has an Instagram account that actually exists where you might get some hints of what's coming up pretty soon and all that. And just kind of a fun thing to go along with the movie. But in one of his posts, I think it was like yesterday or something like that, um, it's just a, a, it looks like a Daily Bugle article, you know, a bunch of random stories on there. The very, very bottom of it, there's some like writing over it because of Instagram, you know, art and all that. But right in the bottom of it, there's a little line in there that says, you know, oh, Oh, like uh, no one's doing anything about you know the, uh, other matters everyone's worried about spider-man um you know how come why not worry about this why not worry about that why not uh, save someone got needs to find the astronauts someone gotta uh, save jj's cats you know but there's that line in there about the astronauts someone needs to find the astronauts damn what, is what does that mean you know what astronauts La- the, oh so maybe right? it already happened the last sword agents to do it mm-hmm. oh shit so this is a reference if anyone's not getting it to, to the fantastic fantastic four, four right so maybe this uh, Fantastic Four thing has already happened, mm. and we just don't have that storyline yet. Uh, but it looks like they're throwing out hints already. And for anyone who doesn't know, Fantastic Four are not superheroes. They do superhero shit, but they're actually scientists and explorers. So that's their thing. They go out to space. They go out to other dimensions. They go out to weird places you wouldn't imagine, and they kind of learn about it and like bring that knowledge back to Earth and shit. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now. I only my most of my Fantastic Four knowledge is from the the first movie we got from Fox, right? No, which is bad. I know. Yeah. So I, I just need to confirm because Fantastic Four got their powers in space, right? Some radiation came through, whatever, right? Yeah. The ship. Uh, in the movie, Doom was there. Was no, Doom originally no, there? No. no they okay. Made th- they made that up. Okay. That's, um, that's just. Actually you know what I it. would like you to do when you're done with X Men. Watch on Disney Plus the Fantastic Four really? anime. It's dude. It's great. That's great. Okay. It's great. The first season's a little weird because, like, the animation isn't great. Second season, you see how good the animation gets, and it's, like, it's better. But the story is always there. And I think, like, one of the first episodes is, uh, it's called, And a Blind Man Shall Lead Them. Like, that line from the from the Bible. Mm-hmm. Because Daredevil's in, like, the first episode. Mm, like, that's cool. And he, it's, <laughs> and he say, like, Oh, that's cool. Yeah, so I, th- I really think you should watch that show. The, the best okay. thing about that Fantastic Four animated show, if anyone doesn't know what I'm talking about, it's the one that aired on Fox in the 90s. That one had the best cameos, and it explained the Marvel Universe mm. the best. Because, like, they would go everywhere. They, you'd see the Avengers in there. Uh, there were some random little cameos of X-Men and Spider-Man. And, like, uh, you know, they, they fought Doctor Doom. They fought the Hulk. Like, they, they go around the Marvel Universe. That's cool. And it connects to all the other Marvel animated shows, including X-Men, okay. Spider-Man the Animated Series, and the Hulk. Nice. They're all in the same 
universe. Uh, so it's funny because those cartoons are actually the basis for the MCU. Yeah. Because those cartoons like kind of did that first, you know? Yeah. Again, just watching freaking X-Men though, like, damn, they got so many different characters to play with because all the, like, all the characters I was mentioning earlier in the beginning of the show, like, I can just imagine like, man, what did they bring this dude into the MCU? Like, oh man, they can easily, they can easily just throw these characters in there just like a little random points, yeah. you know, if they wanted to. And for, I think they for will. moments, you know? I think they will, man. <laughs> and, you know, as long as you don't kill them, that'd be cool. Yeah. I think they've learn their lesson I hope. yeah i think if we'll see if taskmaster dies if taskmaster yeah lives, i'm hoping he doesn't i'm hoping he doesn't die yeah. yeah if he lives i'll feel like marvel learned their lesson you know yeah. <laughs> so um my ways all right so that being said let's go back into the news yeah yeah um my turn you want to go first i only did one story so far oh yeah you go so let's it. talk about another one which is why i have this controller here uh on the desk today this is my uh uh steam controller um i like this controller a lot has these little touch pads right here. So rather than D-pads and like buttons and stuff like that, where you get your, you know, typical X, Y, A, B buttons there, it's just fucking huge touch pads, uh, like mouse pads, like on your, on your, like a trackpad on your uh, laptop. That's what these are. But they also, you can push them into, and they actually act like actual D-pads and all that, because there's actually function in there. It, it will detect where your finger's at. It will detect whether or not you're touching it and everything. And then you got your typical buttons on there too, your, your one joystick and your other X, A, uh b and y buttons there too you got your typical shoulder buttons up top you know your bumpers and triggers and you also have these other third uh little triggers right here uh, uh against where your hand grips so when you wrap your hand around the controller you know typically your pointer finger your middle finger would touch the bumper or the trigger and then like your ring finger would touch this bottom part on the handle these are buttons down here oh shit reason I'm bringing that up is because uh, Valve was facing a lawsuit uh, for this controller and for this particular part. Uh, this last part I mentioned with these buttons on, on these triggers on the bottom. like a third. Why do they get a lawsuit for buttons? Because someone had the patent for it already. Someone oh, wow. made the patent for it, and I guess uh, Steam didn't go too far out of the way to confirm this you know, patent yeah. and all that. They didn't work hard to look and see if it was a thing. They yeah. Were just like, Fuck it. They kind of just made it real quick, whatever, I suppose. But they, the invention was already created. I think I, maybe they just made it themselves and didn't realize someone else has already made this function before. It could be a possibility, too. Uh, but this little company, um, what was it called? Ironberg, uh, apparently had that technology already, and uh, Valve had infringed on it. And so for the last, like, four years or so, they've been in court with this thing, and it's finally done. It's finally done, and then Valve lost uh, the court case, and now they got to pay $4 million in damages. Four million. Oh yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, it's Ironberg a- wanted eleven million though. What the fuck? <laughs> eleven million. They wanted eleven million originally. Fuck out of here. Uh, the court, you know, saw like four million was, you know, I guess better. Jesus. I suppose. Even four million is a lot, but yeah. I mean, I get it because it's like it's a. It's, it's a, a patent. It's, it's something a technology. Was, it's yeah, you broke, you broke the law and you made a lot of money off of it. So yeah. who knows? You know? I mean, I'm not sure they made a lot of money on this because this controller I mean, is not really popular. Well, if you, make, I love it though. I mean, if you make money at all on it, like yeah. substantial money at all, like if you make over a hundred thousand, they're probably like, okay, yeah, we need our fucking, you know, yeah, exactly. And I, I think this controller is discontinued. Now. I don't think they make it anymore. I bet they don't. But I, <laughs> I have two, though. Yeah. All right. Uh, awesome. That's what's going on with that, and that's kind of what it was about. You know what's funny about this? Those buttons too is that the the button right here. It looks like it sounds like it's it's fancy and everything. All it is is just this plastic piece right here is actually just a um. It's like on a swivel. It's just a cover. Oh it's wow! Just a cover. That's wow! All it is. And then because it's flexible plastic, it pushes little triggers in here. That's all it is. It's a little button in there gets pushed. Wow! <laughs> from from flexing the the plastic. I mean, it is a pretty <laughs> cool ass simple idea. So it's I, super I could simple. see I could see why someone would get mad that someone tried to sneak it. You know, or yeah. like because that's pretty cool though. You know. Yeah. Like, I remember when I first took that off. I'm like, where's these buttons I was pushing? I I still don't know where the triggers at. Honestly. Anyways, mm-hmm. that's that. All right. Uh, in other news. Demon Slayer. Uh, I don't know if you guys have been following this podcast or if you've just been following like anime news in general, but fucking Demon Slayer is J- Japan's biggest anime movie of all time. Like, uh, it it smoked all the Miyazaki movies or something like that. It's crazy. Like everyone's been going to see. It. I don't know if it's just because of quarantine that people just couldn't wait to get out to see a movie finally, a good animated movie. But this shit's fucking destroying all the records in Japan. I think it even smoked Evangelion 3.0, which had the record before that. And, um, uh, yeah. But apparently it's going to be coming out to, uh, um, I'm sorry, to Australia and New Zealand starting February 25th. Now, it's going specifically to those countries because they're both 
considered technically COVID free countries because they don't have a problem of it surging and spreading. Mm-hmm. Uh, so that's why they're going to be getting this movie. But yeah, February 25th for them. Hopefully one day we catch up. And um, I do agree with that text skater. But yeah, hopefully we catch up and we get this movie here because this movie is going to make a gang of money, especially all the nerds that have been chilling on the inside. Like they're going to be ready to watch this shit when it comes. Um, uh, this movie, is it like in connection to the anime and all that? Yeah, it's it's uh, it happens immediately after the anime. Which oh, okay. People cool. love this anime. I don't know if you know. But so yeah, I know I've heard a lot about it. Yeah. I, haven't, I haven't seen it yet, though. I, I, I have it on my list to watch it soon, though. Someday. You should. When, I, I'm, when I'm done with, like, X-Men and other shit. Yeah, watch X-Men and Fantastic Four, then go to Demon Slayer. Okay. I think you should really see Fantastic Four, especially for what, <laughs> what's about to be coming soon, you know? like. Okay. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. Yeah. But, yeah, Demon Slayer coming to Australia and New Zealand. So if we happen to have any fans there, which I doubt, you guys, you know, we're letting you know now. <laughs> we have listeners in Russia, supposedly. I was looking at download stats for the podcast, and surprisingly, we're getting uh, more downloads than I thought. But I think, like, number two is Russia or some shit. What the fuck? (laughs) We're thinking that we had, like, one or two downloads often in Russia. Something something weird like that. It's just funny that that would even happen at all. Yeah, I know. That's cool. (laughs) Fucking, you never know, huh? You you never know. I mean, that's not as close as, you know, New Zealand or Australia, but... Right? (laughs) Anyway. I'm I'm fucking proud. Thank you, Mother Russia. Russian hackers are listening to you guys. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, too. Yeah, maybe. Hey, man, <laughs> if we can help, we can help, all right? Yeah. <laughs> I want to talk about this real quick, what Reason said. Reason said uh, Uzi Vert, Lil Uzi Vert, put an Infinity uh, Stone on his forehead. Oh, I heard about that. Apparently yeah. it's a 24 million pink diamond. Yeah, yeah, I, and people are wondering <laughs> if he did that because he's in love with the WandaVision show or not. Maybe, yeah. No, that, that's that's what people are wondering. Like, did he do this because WandaVision's been so good? Like, yeah, <laughs> that's funny, though, like. And then just to show off your gems and shit. That's funny. Lil Uzi Vert? Is that different from Lil Uzi? I have no clue, dude. Ooh, I have, like, I have no idea. I mean, I know how the names are with rap right now, yeah. so I don't know. That might be a totally different guy. I told you how confused I was with YG and Yo Gotti. So. What about Lil Nas X? <laughs> That's confusing. I, mean, like, <laughs> I ain't touching that one with a 39 and a half foot pole, man. Like, Lil Nas X. <laughs> Diplomat says the same. So Lil Uzi Vert, Uzi Vert, same shit. Okay. Right, that's what I okay. thought, too. You, know you never know, you know? Man, I would have just been LNX if I was Lil Nas X. Like, <laughs> that way somebody has to ask, you know? Yeah. <laughs> but AJ? All right. Another news. Uh, Netflix. Speaking of uh, talking about no, more Netflix. Oh, by the way, guys, that Sonic uh, show I was talking about coming out next year, 2022. Um, but also what may come out next year, or I guess what could have came out next year, mm. might have been this Netflix series. Um... Legend of Zelda, live action. Yes, sir. Apparently that was in the works. And I think yeah. we had a rumor about it a while um, back. Yeah, about a couple, maybe two or three years ago when they first started talking about it. We did have that. Uh, we- yeah, I think we talked about it a little bit. As soon as that happened, uh, Nintendo got scared and pulled out. Yeah, they uh, and you know why they pulled out? Why? Because there was a leak from the Netflix side. Yeah, it, was, it came from Netflix themselves. Yeah, that yeah, leak came from Netflix. I think it's the thing that you and I reported on, that's why they fucking didn't do it. Because... They didn't want anyone to, you know, Nintendo's real secretive about yeah. their releases. They were mad that people even knew that they were making it. They didn't want people to know that. They Which wanted... is so weird. Cause Nintendo does shit like that a lot. Yeah, they do. I think they feel like there's a lot of value in the surprise. You know what I mean? In the in the event where it gets announced. So they hate this whole leaking culture because like they really like being the ones to give it to you and show you. I'm like, surprised they went through with finishing the uh, Super Mario uh, theme world. The, for the, real, the I, right. they spoiled the fuck out of that, right? <laughs> yeah, we, there's we, like we, plane shots of that shit. Yeah, I can't exactly. remember. I was like, what the fuck? Imagine, oh shit, they already got pictures out there. No, let's stop. Just tear stop, it all tear down. Tear it down now. We're done. We're like, no, we're not doing this anymore. <laughs> Basically, might as well if you're gonna do it like that. <laughs> oh, um, you know, what's interesting. Um, there was gonna be a, another show that that show was part of a two show deal. You already know about it. Yep. Looks like. Yeah, yeah. The other ahead. the other one was Star Fox. And it was going to be a claymation collaboration project with College Humor. And do you know where that's weird? You know where that comes from? No, I don't. There's already a College Humor short about Star Fox. Oh, is there? And it's about him being like an existential hipster kind of. Interesting. And like basically like a it's it's like a adult comedy kind of feel. Yeah. And they're like Star Fox, like they, they get in line with him, Star Fox. We need you to stop Andros. And he's like, but why? You know, and <laughs> like it goes on, like it has him like just like every time someone asks, he's like. Star Fox, we gotta avenge your father. He's like, Andros killed your dad. He's like, 
I hated my dad. My dad was dead to me before he died. <laughs> and I was like, wow. This is like real funny. Like, it's, you got to check it out. I'll oh, show I, it to I you. I got to see that. Yeah. I'll show it to you after the podcast. That, um, that's funny that Nintendo will greenlight something like that with college humor. Yeah. That, that's kind of weird. So I wonder what that would have been like. Uh, and it was I, claymation too, which I, is even more weird. Well, that short is also kind of claymation. Oh, is it? It's, I think it's stop motion, but you could tell uh, that it, it could have went to claymation if it had more money. Well, you know? Claymation and stop motion go hand in hand together, though. Right. Yeah. Well, I mean, sometimes people do stop motion with toys or paper. Oh, or, yeah. You know what I mean? But yeah. like, I feel like that was hinting that the next step up was gonna be like claymation stop motion mm. show, and um, it would have been funny. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I gotta go see that now to see what it what it could have been. <laughs> I like wonder it. if they would have taken it more serious though and actually I had an actual Star Fox star or if they would have just been funny like that throughout the whole thing. Uh no, I think I feel like that might have just ruined the Star Fox for people. I think Nintendo probably told them, Hey, just tone the humor down a little bit. You can keep the adultness. I mean, this is just me thinking from what I think I know about Nintendo. I feel like they're probably like, just tone the humor down a little bit, take a little of the adultness out and you guys can do it. Just make sure there's Star Fox in it, you know, make yeah. sure the story's in it, you know? And I guess it ended up being pretty funny. It looked pretty good. Like Yeah. But that's funny because we, we, I don't think we knew about the Star Fox thing. So why would you pull I, out for Star Fox 2, Nintendo? You know what? I think we actually did cover it. That there was a Star Fox project, like an animated project in the works, but we didn't know this much detail. Mm. I think we did talk about it. But yeah, we, we didn't know that it was going to be like a claymation. I don't even think that we knew Netflix was involved because I think they had canceled it. And that's why that news leaked. Maybe. Yeah, because I, I love that they finally backtracked and told us the what happened with that shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, well, that kind of sucks. That would have been cool to see those things. At least to see them. Even if they were kind of bad or whatever, at least be able to see, like, okay, this is what it shouldn't be or what it should be, you know? Yeah. Can't even do that. Can't even do that. That man. sucks. Uh, can't even see the the potential of it, you know? Mm-hmm. I, is that is that Super Mario movie still in, in, in works? Yeah, though? still in the works. Okay. Yeah, that's happening. Because we've heard about that. Mm-hmm. Why didn't you pull out of that, huh? No. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> All right. Um. So speaking of a different streaming service, Disney Plus has put out a trailer for the Mighty Ducks Game Whoa. Changers. New show. A new show on Disney Plus. Um. They've been talking about it for a year or so, but th- no one knew if it was going to be real because that whole Lizzie McGuire thing, you know. Like so, no, no one's like, we're like, we're just gonna wait out and see if they're really gonna make that. And hmm. yeah, there's a trailer out right now on YouTube for um, Mighty Ducks, the Game Changers. Now, is it animated, like one of the animated shows, or is no. it the live action? It's live action. Oh shit! Okay. As in Emilio Estevez is gonna be. In. Oh shit! Yeah, and it's a, uh, it takes place 30 years after, just like real life. They're gonna go the Star Wars route. Um, yeah, and it's it's looking pretty interesting. I want to check it out. Uh, I love Mighty Ducks personally. Uh yeah, quack, 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 Emilia, quack. <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Emilio Estevez will be coming back as Coach Bombay. Um, I believe they put a release day out too. Um, let me see if I can find that part for you guys. Um, coming soon. Yeah, let's just say coming. So- oh, March twenty sixth. Oh, Friday. Soon. Super soon. Yeah, super soon. So yeah, check out the trailer. It's on YouTube. Uh, yeah, Mighty Dicks, Game Changers. AJ? Mm, that's around the time where WandaVision should be done. Yeah, mm. I told you, bro. I told you. <laughs> they, they, I'm so mad they held on on giving us WandaVision. I heard uh, it, they could have started it like in December. Mm. But they, they didn't want to. They wanted to wait it out. Uh, that being said, all right, AJ, got some news for us? Or should I go again? No, I got another one here. So um, iOS, um, which is the uh, Apple uh, firmware for your iPhones and all that, right? You know, they have updates every so often, right? There's always one big new update every year. And they always go like in order, like, you know, update, you know, 1.0, 2.0, 3.0, all that, right? Yeah. Right now we're on 14. Jesus. Um, <laughs> People are also part of like a beta program too, where they can test out the next build of it. So you get like 14, 14.1, 14. 14. 0.2, 0.3, 0. 0.4, all yeah, that, right? All the practice and rounds, you, yeah. And then some people are part of a beta program where they can get the, that, that release earlier to kind of test it out, get a feel for it and all that, and report back, you know, little bugs they found and all that, right? Well, apparently in this next update coming out pretty soon, uh, 14.5 for iOS, uh, in there, it looks like there's going to be some support for the new-gen console controllers. So uh. I'm talking about PS5 DualSense controllers and Xbox Series X controllers. So you're going to get full compatibility with this, uh, according to the people using the 14.5 beta for iOS. Uh, which sounds pretty cool, getting that full function and being able to use your own controller. So if you already own one of these systems and you want to use that controller to play some of these games on your iOS, on your on your iPhone, it looks like you'll be able to do that pretty soon. 
And I know some people out there make like these little holders that will connect to your controller and to hold your phone. So you can actually hold the controller and have the screen right above your controller right there. Kind of like a, almost like a DS type of, you know, system going on. So maybe we'll get more of those type of things too in the future too. Uh, but that sounds pretty cool because it's kind of hard to find a good controller out there sometimes. And a lot of different companies make different Bluetooth controllers that are compatible. Um, but, you know, why spend the extra money when you have this other controller laying around, right? Right. So look out for that coming soon. Um, I'm pretty sure this update will be coming out in a couple months. Okay. Um, in other news, uh, Thundercats. Anyone who's a fan of that uh, and loves the old school 80s version of it, will know how hard it is to find some of the 80s stuff. Uh, I think they reissued the actual figures, but now a company called Super 7, I think they might even be the same ones who reissued the figures, have made the Thunder Tank. Damn. And you can get it again. It's almost identical to its 80s version. Um, there are pre-orders open now. The actual thing you can't buy, but the pre-orders are open. You only have one chance to do it. Um, and here's the sad news. It's like $20,000, right? Oh, no. You know what? You just soften the blow. Good shit, AJ. <laughs> 500 bucks. Oh, just 500. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, 500 bucks, man. They asked too much. This chibi wags is already... 440... Like Damn, he this, responded right? quick. Yeah. <laughs> uh, 449.99 is really... What to be it, exact, you know. To be exact, yeah. <laughs> uh, so $450. But um, it's 27 inches tall. Um, Wait, how tall? 27 inches tall. Fuck. 17 inches wide. Wow. When it's fully assembled, it can carry up to six Thundercat figures. That's crazy. At the same damn time. Damn, where's that button? <laughs> man, oh, uh, <laughs> shit's real, man. Uh, it includes a cartoon accurate deco, opening cargo bay door, an articulated jaw, uh, glowing eyes, rolling tank treads, and wheels with steel axles, swappable armored and clear windshields. For both battle and aquatic modes, Yo. and a removable swiveling turret. This shit has Jesus features, man. Christ! This shit has more features than my car. Probably has a kitchen sink in there too. Jesus, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> right. It's now it's got everything but the kitchen sink, man. That's what it looks like. Uh, yeah. So if you guys um like has five bathroom stalls, you know, for every character and shower and gym court, you know, just for you to see it. Like, <laughs> look. Oh, that's pretty and sick. then everything opens up. These fucking panels, all that shit opens up. That's crazy. So, um, yeah, I, man. I never knew fucking Thundercats had this machine, this this vehicle. I think it's in the intro, in the intro song. Aren't they no. driving around? I have no it? clue. I actually never seen Thundercats. Yo, bro, <laughs> I've only seen a little. I don't like yeah. it. <laughs> Text case says, sounds like a bargain. Right? <laughs> Apparently, they want like 50 bucks for one of the figures. Say what the wax. fuck? Yeah. 50 a figure? Yeah, fuck that, bro. I can't support <laughs> that. That's that's wrong. Hey, some people are out there that'll really need to fucking do that, though. I know, man. Um, uh, one other piece of news: George Clooney joins the Buck Rogers movie. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows. Um, they're remaking Buck Rogers, which is one of the OG sci-fi things. It's kind of like um, you know, before before there was Star Wars, I think this was a book, and then Star Wars movie was successful, so they made a Buck Rogers TV show. And this is about a guy from the 20th century, like us, you know. Okay. And for whatever shenanigans, he falls into the 25th century. Oh shit! And he helps That's the them, future. Yeah, and he helps them like save their timeline and shit like that. Damn. Yeah, uh, because you know, I guess his old school ideals are like different and like you know. Very Who's valuable. Buck Rogers? That's the, the main guy of the thing from the 21st century. From the oh. 20th century, and he goes to the 25th century. But but he's a person. I've he's heard a, of. He's, no, that you've heard of him because of this sci-fi. Oh, is that why? Yeah, he's, it's famous, bro. Ah, it's big. It's okay. big. Yeah, that's the only reason you've heard about it. Uh, but yeah, um, they are making a movie. I thought he was some like Western star from the back in the days. Or it something sounds like, like that. it would be that, right? <laughs> that's what I thought when I was a kid because I never watched it. My dad, yeah, I, I never I, got it for us. Uh, like I just heard the name mentioned once in a while, like in jokes, like in comics or something like that. Like I know there's like a Garfield comic shirt where he mentions Buck Rogers. I was like, I don't get it. Isn't there like See, a? See, it was a, it was a space thing. He probably didn't get the joke. Right? Yeah, I think there's a drink called the Buck Rogers. I think. Probably because it gets you fucked up <laughs> for it to be called to the space thing, you know, like that. Um, but, yeah, uh, George Clooney is going to be on it. Uh, he's going to produce, actually. Batman. And possibly star in it. Um, I, I think this is a cool idea. Uh, it's going to be written by Brian K. Vaughn. That's my motherfucker. He's the man. 
He wrote the Runaways comic. He wrote Saga. He's the shit. He's one of my favorite writers. And he's writing the new Gundam movie that's coming out in a few years or a year. I don't know exactly. They haven't been, <laughs> they haven't been updating us. But he's writing the Gundam movie. I love Brian K. Vaughn. Gundam movie, too? Yeah, man. We talked about it last year. Yeah, I think we did. Yeah. He, um, this guy's he's a great writer, man. They, it's in good hands, at least for the writing. As long as the studio doesn't come in and say, change this and change this, mm. it's going to be good. I promise. Um, but yeah, so Buck Rogers is coming out. Uh and yeah, George Clooney's attached. He might even star in it, leading me to believe he might actually be Buck Rogers, unless he's going to be too old for that. Um, I mean, I haven't seen how he looks these days. Oh, no. Oh, we have a picture for that, too. I did not know that. Oh, shit. I didn't know that either. <laughs> nice. Yeah, that's the old school photo of it. Buck oh, Rogers. Oh, wow. Is this where Buck Your Hair came from? Probably. It's probably Buck Your Hair is probably a reference wow. to Buck Rogers. I wouldn't doubt it. it. It's probably a reference to it. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point, AJ. Uh, but yeah, so keep an eye out for this movie. You'll probably see a trailer at the, the end of the year, maybe next year. Uh, we got a few things. Uh, if the star is in it, it'll be cool to play the character. Reason just resubscribed. Oh shit! Good luck in that reason. Fifth month. We appreciate that, man. Thank you. Um, all right, uh, AJ, you want to give us some news before I give the last one? I got one more too. Yeah. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Um, we should have him on the soundboard, the fucking Street Fighter guy. That's a good idea. Uh, Tomb Raider. You ever heard of that like, series before? It's like a video game or something like that. I don't know much, but I think I talked about it last week. A bit. <laughs> hey, what's up, man? Wait, what did, we, what did we talk about last week with Tomb Raider? Uh, that the, there's going to be a sequel movie written by the one. Oh, yeah, we, that's what we talked about last yeah. week. Yeah. Well, in addition to that, sounds like there might be an animated series coming. Actually, an anime what the fuck? coming through pretty soon. What the fuck? Yeah, so Legendary TV uh, just announced this. Uh, it's going to be a new show. It's going to be an anime, which sounds even weirder. No, it's not animated. It's an anime. Written uh, and executive produced by uh, Tasha Huo. Oh, shit. Who did the, the Witcher Blood Origin. Which I have no clue who, who that is, really. Okay. And I'm not sure what the Witcher Blood Origin is. Is that the Witcher? Comma Blood Origin? I don't know. But that's, that's who you can expect to be behind this series uh, for Tomb Raider. So that sounds like fun. I'm not sure where it's going to be coming out, though. I'm not sure if it's going to be a Netflix thing or not. Uh, it is a Netflix series. My bad. It is. Uh, so another Netflix series coming soon. Um, so yeah, look out for that. That sounds pretty cool. Okay. And it's, it looks like they they might be going uh, based off the uh, the current trilogy. I, I think they're they're kind of talking about too, like how this uh, interpretation of Laura Croft has not been the most popular. Yeah, um, that's so very true. <laughs> I, I guess they don't not sure yet which way they're gonna go with it. Um, but look out for that coming soon. <clears throat> okay. Um, so this is the last piece of news we got today. It's pretty big. Uh, Ryan Coogler has been greenlit to be to get a five year deal with Disney, and he will be doing Marvel movies, spe- Marvel projects specifically. Only one of those shows has been named and officially greenlit, and it will be a show based on the Kingdom of Wakanda and its goings on. Uh, so there will be a Black Panther TV show, basically. Uh, I'm assuming this show is going to serve the purpose of explaining what's going on with T'Challa, maybe even what happened or like why he's dead. Uh, maybe even yeah, what like happened. How, how are they going to explain that? Because they, uh, didn't they say too that they're not going to like uh, recast. Re- recast him? Redo, they're not even going to like redo his face or anything like that. I like, think they're going to pull back on that, but we'll see. But uh, for now, they're saying no. So, so that being the case, saying, let's yeah. imagine they're not going to do that, like you said, because yeah. they said they're not going to do it. Text says Wakanda forever. <laughs> um, that's right, text. That's right. Uh, what I'm thinking, since there's going to be a Disney Plus series now, maybe it's going to be animated, and that's their way around not recreating his face through uh, one of those, you know, Luke Skywalker type of things. Especially you know? if they use the same art they did for uh, for the What If show. Yeah, exactly. That can make people happy. Ah, mm-hmm. AJ, that's good. Um, another way I think it could go. Yeah, I mean, it's going to have a sad ending. Yeah, if they probably. do that. Yeah, Fuck. yeah, for sure. That sounds about right, AJ. Um, the other reason I find that very interesting. Is because I'm like I feel like it also could cover what happened to Wakanda during the snap because that's very yeah. important and yep. we need to know that because that kingdom was very specific on T'Challa's rules and they have a lot of rules about not having a king in place and shit so I have to imagine somebody had to step in to take his spot during yeah. that time. Um, I also think it'd be really cool if they did something like Shuri, like someone tried to take over the throne when they saw when they found out he was gone and Shuri got whisked away samurai Jack style to learn different ways to fight and shit and mm. become worthy of the throne. And then he showed up. <laughs> like, oh, okay, I'll do it. But you know, then he dies. You know, yeah. Right? I don't know. That is an idea I had in my head. It'd be really cool to see Shuri going to different places in the Marvel Universe and learning how to fight from everyone because they make it seem like she's not really a fighter. That'd be cool, yeah. 
you know, Bucky could train that'd be, her. That'd be you, sick to see, yeah. Right? Well, Bucky was kind of gone, too, though. No, maybe she'll travel. Well, because, you know, they got to get her away from Wakanda if someone's trying to take the throne. Like, maybe send her to America and she trains with Bucky. But if this happened during, at during, after the snap. Oh, Bucky's gone. Yeah, Bucky's gone. gone. Okay, <laughs> Touche. Maybe it has to happen after Endgame, I guess. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, this is my two, two cents on that, though. But uh, what do you think about it? I like what you said about it being an animated show. It's pretty cool. That could be their way around it. Yeah. 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 I, I like I like this idea. So when we get that second movie, we kind of know what's going on already. Yeah. Because obviously they, they don't want to redo his face. They don't want to do uh, Chadwick Boseman's face again or recast him and all no, that. No disrespect whatsoever. Yeah. So I guess the only other way around that is to animate him. Um, and yeah, give an animated form. So maybe this would be their bridge to you know Black Panther two. And then hopefully have Shuri at night in that role right there for Black Panther. I'd like that. As Tex Gaither said, Wakanda forever. Yeah. All right. Wakanda forever. AJ, <laughs> um, I'm focused week, man. What you going to do, bro? Uh, try to get to those comics. Um, I, 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 I just want to read them now, uh, but I just haven't had the time. Uh, also, just more 3D printing. I just 3D printing a lot of shit, so just more printing random things. Um what else is there? You know, probably some soul, maybe some more tech in. Um, Definitely going to show you that fucking I, uh, Star Fox thing after this. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> I, I want to get, uh, there's a new Tetris uh, Puyo Puyo 2. Oh, no. I hated that shit. Personally. Um, <laughs> I mean, so, like, I, I have number one. Uh, and I have it on cartridge for my Switch. But I'm thinking, like, after downloading a few games onto the Switch, I kind of want to download some of the games onto the Switch now rather than buy the cartridges. So I might go ahead and just buy that. Uh, I saw like an ad for it this morning too. I know it's been out for a couple of weeks now, but it's like I saw an ad for it somewhere this morning. I was like, fuck, maybe I should just go ahead and just buy it on, on the system. Oh, look, so Wags maybe says I'll do that. Wags trying to take advantage of your printer. Oh, fuck. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll talk about that. <laughs> um, and then what day is it today? Today's the third. Wednesday. So next time you guys see me on this, uh, on this podcast, I'll be, I'll be a year older. Oh shit! Just the heads birthday up, guys. Coming. Which kind of sucks. At this point, just getting older sucks. <laughs> <laughs> For real. At, now it really does. Before people just liked a bitch. Now it's like, oh fuck. Yeah, it's like, damn it, another fucking year already. Shit. Um. So that's happening too. So I don't have any plans though, because not much we can do anyways. You know, it's disappointing too. The, a round one opened up and in Burbank at the mall, right? And I'm there often, right? And that first week that it opened, I was there day one. I got my fucking uh, round one card so I can just, you know, play games all I want. Hasn't been open since. And then it closed like two days later. And it's been closed ever since. And it's just disappointing every time I'm there now. It's like, fuck, if this was open right now, I could just walk in there, play a couple games real quick. So I'm just I'm just kind of waiting for that now. Beat your local punk at Tekken, you know? Yeah, like I know. Up. Tekken or the Street Fighter. Last time I was there, I was playing Street Fighter, you know? So, damn. Anyways. Um... But yeah, that's kind of my plan, I guess. Try to read and print some shit and play some games. I'm going to also do some reading. Some more. I'm going to read this Fantastic Four oh, by shit. Jonathan Hickman. You know, AJ will be doing his animated research in the near future. I'm going to be yeah. doing this research. His reading research. Yeah. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm looking forward to that. Also, um, oh, uh, you know what I didn't mention? I, I finished Harley Quinn Season 1. That was really good. Uh, so I'll probably crack into Harley Quinn Season 2. Um, Damn, it's season two already? Yeah, it's already out. That show's fucking funny, bro. Even if you if you just got bored and turned it on one day, you'll laugh your ass off. <laughs> um, but also, I'm gonna check out. Um, I think I already mentioned I saw all that Netflix Transformers. Right? Did I mention that too? What? I saw all that Netflix Transformers. Oh yeah, I think you did mention that. Oh, the, you're not uh, done. The yet. second season has uh, co- has come out already, right? Yeah, I watched the second season. Oh, I haven't seen the second season yet. Okay, I won't talk about that. Um, but otherwise, um. Finish Zelda. Hopefully, I'll have beaten it by the next time we talk. Because I'm pretty obsessed with it. This game is very grabbing. Uh, so yeah, m- maybe I'll be done with it by the next uh, episode of Unfocused. And then uh, you haven't even got your house yet, no. So I don't. Even, I'm not even sure about that. Fuck out of here. <laughs> um, yeah, man. Uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks for joining us on the podcast, guys. Yeah, uh, I guess we'll be back uh, next week. Where's the button? Is this button? Don't forget, this is a Collision 28 production. We're live on twitch.tv slash collision28 every Thursday. Wednesday. <laughs> also, uh, you can always catch us on youtube.com slash unfocusedpodcast to uh, see rebroadcasting of these episodes. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe there as well. Also, uh, Twitter, uh, you can message us at unfocus 28 
Um, we also give you updates when the show starts. Instagram at Focus Podcast. Uh, subscribe, you know, like. Uh, also, uh, you can subscribe to uh, our podcast show, the audio version, on Apple Podcasts. Or just get more information about that on Collision28.com. Or if you have any comments or things you want us to talk about or maybe things that you feel we missed in the past, email us on unfocusedpodcast at gmail.com. Collision28.com slash Discord. Join our Discord. Spotify, bitch. Sorry. (laughs) Do it, bitch. doing it. I don't feel that they're doing it anyway. Not doing it. See, I'm watching it. It's over! Don't forget to subscribe!